And we are filming. Hmm. So, look, this is a bird. Ah. Ah. Eating a worm. No. Fuck no! Anyway. Mmm. Root beer candy licorice twist. Oh yeah. I'm only having the most decadent of candy imported treats. Mmm. Root beer. Love it. High quality root beer though, right? Anyway, that's the end of the video. See you later. <laughs> so, um, this is a rear Mazzocchi unit. Now, I, uh, Mazzocchi's idea with these, they're non-rebuildable. Um, please don't attempt to, they are non-serviceable item, throw them away. It's like the BMW front shock. Um, the seal block. This is one we've manufactured because we have to. The seal block is like a decarbon unit, and the idea that you're not meant to be able to um, take it out, right? So, you see the seal block, if you can imagine that slid in there, but it's a sandwich with a seal in between. Uh, please, see, please see previous video, decarbon shock type, it explains it all. Basically, on average, what you will have in a shock is there will be a groove in here to which a circlip fits. Okay, now uh, the block goes into the shock. You then put in your circlip. Stops block coming out when the shock is under pressure from either use or nitrogen, right? That's the principle. Now, uh, a budget shock. Uh, what happens is they build the shock. Uh, they fit their decarbon assembly, but to save one euro, two euros, and to make sure that the customer cannot rebuild his shop, he has to go to Kajiva and spend £800 on another shop, and they are budget shops. You can't buy these from Mazzocchi, they're made under licence. Um, when you assemble the shop, what you do is you take a hammer and you bash this end over. Same as the BMW front shop, but there is two types of BMW front shops. You've got one where it's peened, because BMW don't want you to repair your shop. They want you to spend £800 on another shop, because those shops cost them 12 quid to make. But there is a front BMW shock, it's like an under license WP unit and it's the only one where all this is removable and all the internals are held in by a circlet. They're quite easy to spot. One, this metal is folded over and hammered, although it's probably done on a press, so. Eh? Um, hammer, 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 hammer. The other one, everything is inside with a circlet and then what you have if I've got one here, which I may not, I know it's very rude for me to be out of shot. Basically what you have is you have like a metal cover and that, that's just a push foot, foot, foot fit. Normally um, the shot body is black and the cap you push on is silver. <laughs> Sorry for this unprofessional interruption. But I feel like I'm just about to be fucking attacked. Fair enough! Yes. This is the unprofessional-ism uh, of my comrades. That are. Comrades? Oh my god, I'm, I'm back in bloody Yugoslavia. Anyway, uh, we're going to assemble this now. So, this will be an assembled rod. You'll have your piston assembly. Du -du 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 -du. That goes in. Yeah, I, there will be oil in it, okay, yeah, for the smart asses out there in YouTube land. Oh, I've got my own tiny oil in it. Yeah, I know that. Um, then this will go in. 
This block will then be pressed into place. Uh, there is a certain amount of friction fitting on this between the block and the o-ring. Uh, once I'm happy that that is in as far as I want it to go, then we'll clean that over. Jobs are good. Um, just to show you some of the different shock assemblies, what shall I call this? Peen shock? <laughs> Ball peen shock? Anyway, I'll catch you later. Tell the lads, bye bye.